Hey guys, what's up? She Pirate here, and I was going to film an unboxing today for an order that I received from sdbullion.com, but thought, you know, let me just go live since, well, I'm already here at my desk since I've been working from home. Uh, let's just jump right into it. And if you guys want, we can do a little bit of a quarter roll hunting as well. But uh, first, let's get right into this. I was actually pretty surprised to find this in my mailbox because I thought that shipping might be delayed only because of the number of orders that were made to where they literally pulled their inventory. Anyway, let's... Uh, See what we got here i have placed two orders before they pulled their inventory and i'm not exactly sure which one's the one that i received today i don't think it was my both of my orders because i got two shipping two tracking numbers and uh, this is only one packet here and looks like i got the yeah the silver one ounce rounds and it's a quantity of seven so yes this is going to be one order all right, and again, you know, beautifully wrapped. They're in little flip holders. Let's see. I wish I would have. Let me pull up the price that I paid for this order. All right, and it's from sdbullion.com. Let me log in. How are you guys holding up during this quarantine? Everybody, hey Roxella, thanks for jumping in. Just doing a quick unboxing here of my SD Bullion order. Shockingly, there were no delays, everything was on time. So much appreciated, SD Bullion. Good job. That's good too that they didn't delay anything because then people will start to suspect, you know, that they're holding their, their silver, especially after they've already paid for it. So let me log into my account and I want to see what order it was that I got. It was the seven. So I got seven of the Indian head rounds. Beautiful. These pieces are so nice too. Look at that. Very, very nice. All right, let's see my orders. Because you remember, guys, as the prices were dropping, I was, let's see, here we go. All right, yeah. So these I paid $16.24. So this is before the last drop, before they pulled their inventory. Paid $16 per one ounce round. And again, I got seven of them. Hi, Minir. How are you? Thank you for joining me in my unboxing. I paid $16.24. And my total was $113. So there was free shipping and no taxes. No taxes were charged on these guys. They're pretty much all the same. I'm not gonna keep putting my greasy fingers all over. <laughs> Again, I can't find my gloves, so here we go. All right, and there are seven of them here. So my pending order is going to be for, let's see, payment receipt. Okay, so this is my last order. I got um, six pieces oh the Aztec calendar I did pay a little bit more for the Aztec calendar but I am totally okay with it because I still got a good deal I bought those for $17 and they I only ordered six of those because I just wanted to get enough to put me over the hundred dollar threshold for the free shipping so these here are seven I bought them at $16 and change there was no delay from SD Boolean. Packaging was immaculate as expected. And they did provide me with a packing slip. So yeah, I'm super excited about it. 
And uh, my next order should be the Aztec calendar. Let's see if they send me a tracking number. Sorry, I'm having a look around my little light here that I have. It's a little dark in this office. Hmm. I don't see a tracking for the Aztec calendars. But I do see that my order has been accepted and the payment has cleared. Also, another thing when you're ordering from SD Bullion, if you pay with your um, e-check, you'll get a cash discount as well. So take advantage of that, guys. And I don't have a tracking number, but I'm pretty sure that it's going to be following here shortly if it's not already sitting in the mail. And uh, hey, Brian's World, how are you? Mama Lou, hi, Linda. You made it, Linda. I know I'm so random, right? I just, I uh, was not planning on going live. I was going to do an unboxing, but again, I was like, you know, I got ready to come upstairs to do my job today. And I thought I'm not going to let this makeup go to waste. <laughs> I thought I would go uh, live and, um, and see how everybody is doing, how everyone is hang um, holding up. I have uh, two kindergartners here that are doing homeschool. And uh, thank goodness I have some helping hands and um, I'm able to get my work done. Uh, I did start a quarter box uh, roll hunt on um, Jeeping, Jeeping John's uh, live stream. He was nice enough to let me jump onto his panel. And I have uh, come across some 2009s. So here's some that. Let me see if I can't get them to focus a little bit better. Can you guys see that? These are some 2009s that I've come across. And I haven't, here's a Columbia. This is a District of Columbia one. Oh, there you go. That's nicer right there. It's me, Brian. Hi. Thank you for jumping in. How are you? I haven't heard from you in a long time. I was thinking about you the other day. I was going to shoot you an email. Are you all settled into your new home? Here's another find. And this one is the American Samoa. Samoa. And these are all Denver's. Three D Alvarez, hello brother. Thanks for jumping in and showing me support. That's my brother, guys. He's my number one fan. <laughs> All right, I thought I would open up a few of these uh, quarter roll. I still have um, more than half a box to go, so I'm still looking for those West Points, guys. I've had this box for about a little bit over a month, so I. Don't I know that there won't be any of the 2020s in there, but um, you never know. I might find some 2019 West Point, and I would totally be excited about that. Okay, Brian, good. I'm happy to hear that. Awesome. Man, that's been a long closing time, huh? Hope everything worked out in New York, too. I know those tenants over there, man, they just they really tried your patience, didn't they? Mine are still hanging tight. Houston, uh, we did get a, a notice today that Harris County is going to be on a uh, work from home shutdown starting tonight at 8 p.m. So we're not on complete shutdown like Italy, but they are having companies close unless you meet certain criteria and then you can be exempt. And even then, I mean, like my company, we're going to be exempt, but we're still keeping half of our office staff at home, which I'm included in that. And uh, here's another 2009 Northern Marina and another Denver. I'm lucky to find these. I, I love finding these 2009s. I've uh, been finding quite a few lately, 
and it makes me excited because it makes me feel like I didn't get a skunk box. What about you guys? How are your areas doing? Are you guys still operating like normal or have you have you guys been closed down? Our grocery stores also have been stocked, but then again, I'm in Tomball, guys, so I'm not right in the middle of the city. Our grocery stores have uh, had what we needed, except toilet paper and paper towels, but thank goodness that Amazon came through for me, so we're good there. Oh, wow, Brian. So when you say shut down, does that mean you guys cannot leave your home unless you're grocery shopping or you cannot leave your home at all? Because we got we're getting shut down here in Houston at 8 p.m. But there's still some stipulations, you know, like like I said, you know, I mean, if your company meets certain criteria, you can still go to work. But I think it to me, it sounds more of a curfew, but. I don't really and I don't really get it. We're staying home anyway. There's no reason for us to head out. We're fully stocked. And uh, we my husband's head out, headed out to the store a few times just to buy a, you know, a few extra extra things that we would want to have here at the house. What is that? Stay at home request here. Okay, Linda. Yeah, they're over here it's it is mandatory to stay home and work unless you meet Unless you're a plumber and in, um, I think electricity or work with um, the water company, you know, those I think if you work at the utility companies, you you're still allowed to head out. But it's uh, I don't know how strong they're going to be about that. All right, guys. We are shut down here in in. Okay, New York is. Oh yeah, I knew New York was shut down for sure. Brian, are you uh, are you ready? Are you fully stocked? Are you okay over there? Are you still living at your buddy's house, at your best friend's house? I know you guys were rooming together for a little bit. I hope so. That way you have some company during this crazy shutdown. And I love these, the ones that have that really pretty rim. They're a little deceiving, though. I haven't seen very many people on the live streams either today. I, either everyone's busy or sleeping. <laughs> All right, 2014. Yeah. That's what I thought. Okay, Brian, good. That's good to know. I'm happy to know you're safe. I'm happy to know that all you guys are safe. Because this, this thing is just not to be taken lightly. I tried not to give in to the hysteria, but I don't want to go hungry either. So we did go and we stocked up a week ago. When all of this first started, I just didn't want to take any chances and I'm thankful that I did, even though my husband said I was exaggerating. We're able to get a lot of uh, a lot of necessity stuff, stuff that'll last a long time in the fridge. And I have um, my son is here with his little family. Obviously, my husband and I and my son and my dad is here, too. So there's quite a few of us here in the house. Thank goodness we're all spaced out. So we're not driving each other nuts. What about you guys? Who are you? Who are you hanging out with during the quarantine? Ah, oh, Linda, I know. You know, and I'm just, I'm really, I got lucky to have this box because it's been sitting on my dining table. And until a few days ago, I thought it was an empty box sitting there. When I went to go pick it up, like I, my arm almost pulled my arm off. <laughs> I didn't realize that it was a new sealed box. So that's the only reason why I even have this box here to go through. And I do have uh, about two or three penny boxes. So I think I have enough to hold me over for a few 
for a few days. And our banks are drive through only. That made me worry a little bit because I thought, what am I going to do with a box of $500 quarters? But then I thought, well, you know, I mean, I know that the ones and the fives and tens were out at the ATM. So I thought, well, it's kind of a blessing in disguise. I'll hang on to them for a little bit. Oh, Brian, really? Well, that's good. At least you don't have to share your snacks with <laughs> with three kids like me. My snack big these kids, they just they're not even done with dinner and they're already asking for a snack. It just drives me nuts sometimes, these babies. I'm like, what the hell? Chew what's in your mouth before you even ask for a snack yet. <laughs> these babies. Right. These 2017s. I mean, these are nice. So did any of you guys put in an order uh, for any silver bars or rounds before the inventory was pulled? I have one more order coming of those Aztec uh, calendars. And that will be it for me. Well, I've also won a few auctions on Facebook, so I'm excited to get some of those because I'm getting some really, really good deals on Morgans and some Peace Dollars. Not so much halves, though. The, the half dollars, man, people are, are still, still really trying to hold on to those or don't want to sell them. I don't know what the deal is, but their prices are pretty steep. I'm going to have to hold off for a little bit longer to get some halves to finish up my book. Oh, yeah, Brian, I have a six-year-old. My son is six and my granddaughter is six. And, uh, yeah, they're, they're growing. They're growing and they're eating. A lot and then I have my one-year-old grandson super cute but they're fun they're fun to have around it's definitely making this quarantine thing uh, tolerable there's not a boring moment what here's Japanese Kool-Aid who Oh, Starbucks, Jeff. Hi, thank you for jumping in. <laughs> you missed my unboxing, Jeff. I unboxed uh, seven of these beauties here. It's one of my orders that I got from uh, SD Bullion. And I'm waiting for one more. So if you guys ordered from SD Bullion, Rest assured that your order is in the mail, shipped. They are not holding it like other sites. I did hear that other sites were going to hold your silver that you purchase in their bowl until April. And I think that's BS if you ask me. If you buy it, you should be holding your own silver. Do you guys agree? Thanks, Jeff. I got seven of those, and like I mentioned earlier, I also have uh, some Aztec calendars coming my way, too. I paid about a dollar more for the Aztec calendars, but for the design, uh, it's, it's worth it. I'm excited about those. I got seven of the uh, Indian Head Silver Rounds and six of the Aztec uh, Calendar Rounds. Yeah. Yeah, I thought you would. It's it's crazy. I mean, why would they even think that that's OK to take your money, keep your silver and tell you when they're going to ship it out when you've already purchased it? People are crazy if they bought any of that, bought into that mess, because if you don't own it, what is it? If you don't hold it, you don't own it. I'm going to make a T-shirt that says that <laughs> or a hat. So besides the West Point, I was starting to pull some, uh, I had notes for my quarters and I was pulling, 
you know, some key dates, looking for varieties, but it was just taking me so long to get through these quarters. And honestly, it was starting to bore me. So I thought that I would just uh, stick to my West Point silver, of course, and my 2009s. And, you know, those 2009s, these boxes have really been delivering on the 2009s. Makes the hunt fun. Every time I find a 2009, you would think it would be a silver or something. I get excited. I love them. I need to start making little sets and seeing if any of you guys would be interested. Maybe I'll put them on my Facebook. Are you guys on Facebook too? Uh, Jeff, I got them on the SD Bullion. Yeah, it's called sdbullion.com is where I got the silver round. And that order, the one for the Buffalo rounds, I ordered those on, let's see, I got seven of them. And I ordered those on 312. And then on 313 is when I got the Aztec calendars. So hopefully those are following. They're probably sitting in the mail today. I should have checked before I jumped on, but the kids, some of the kids are napping. So I thought I would take advantage and do a quick live with you guys and check in. Linda, <laughs> you're so sweet. Yes, I actually have a uh, six-year-old granddaughter and a one-year-old grandson that's about to be two on Thursday. So we had to cancel his birthday party and uh, we thought we would just do a um, little cake and dinner here, just us, and then maybe postpone his birthday party in April, until April to see how things are going. But uh, no definite plans. Have any of you guys had to cancel birthday parties? I'm happy the kids really don't understand the situation because they're able to just play and just have fun with this whole quarantine thing. And I'd have to worry about I don't really have to worry about anything other than staying entertained. Man, there's some really shiny rims in here. Look at this. Especially like that one right there. You see, those are so deceiving to me. You see that? Oh, Brian, you should um, you should have your groceries delivered. Do you guys have that where you live? It's free. It's a free service as long as you order a certain amount. Uh, you just open up an app. If you have, I don't know how you're watching YouTube on your phone or on your laptop, but either way, you can um, log into either Walmart or HEB and place your order, and they will deliver it straight to your door. And in fact, right now they're having a no contact delivery. So you just pay for your order and you tell them where to leave your groceries and they'll leave them there. And then you can go and just pick them up from your front porch or wherever they you ask them to leave your food. Oh, yeah. Here, let me. It's SD. Let's see. SD. There we go. That's the website, sdbullion.com. But, Jeff, it's a little late now because, you know, with the uh, with the silver prices, they're either way, way over spot or they pulled their inventory because they're, they're not selling. Linda, I was just saying that earlier. I have not seen anyone on live today, so... I don't know if everyone just stayed up really late because they're not working and, <laughs> and they're sleeping or they're just busy. I don't know. But, yeah, I've been working from home, so I actually have time to participate more in the live streams. And I haven't seen anyone online. 
And normally Jeep and John is on at nine, nine ish in the morning. And he wasn't on today either. So I thought, you know, let me jump on and check in with my friends and see what's going on. Oh, good, Linda. Yeah, take advantage of that in these times. Less people you're around, the better. Brian, why did they cancel your order? Did they cancel it because it was you had out of stock items? Because I know you have to have a minimum amount before before uh, to qualify for the free delivery. Anyway, what have you guys found in your coin roll hunts lately? Find anything cool? I found a few. Um, and I, did you guys see the video? The those boxes that I got in the Corpus Christi. I found a few um, 2020 quarters, but I mean, obviously they were the Denver's, but they are so cute. They're cuter in person because of the mama bat and the baby bat. <laughs> They're really nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Brian, Walmart did that to me, too. Uh, the week that all of this crap went down, they sent me an email that my grocery order had been canceled. Because my, the majority of my items were out of stock. I guess by the time that my my grocery, um, that they started putting my grocery list together, it was just too, it was too late because it was like at 6 p.m. So we rushed out to Sam's. And like I said, thankfully, we were able to find, we were able to find a lot of goodies. So we're not in too bad of shape here, guys. Oh, Jeff. Okay. So he went back to work. Well, that's good. That's good because they've cut my hours too. I'm only working five hours a day. So that just really stinks. All right. Here's the 2019. The first one since we started our convo. Let's see what it is. This camera stinks. Ah, it's Denver. Almost. <laughs> Oh, wait. Oh. I'm messing up my quarters here. Oh, baby. I did my homework. You did? You finished your homework? Uh-huh. Good girl. All right. Let's keep going. It was a Denver. So, yeah, I got excited for that one, but it was just a 2019 Denver. Oh, man, these upset me, too. They're little teasers. The 19, the 1965. They're like, they're so old. They should stand for something. So almost there, not there, but almost. Okay. Yeah, Linda, um, Walmart does do the option. What they actually do is when you place your order online, then you have uh, you can check a box that says substitute and you can either check the box on top. And it'll you can and it'll just check all your items to substitute. So if the original item you order is out of stock, they'll substitute it with a similar item. Or you can just single click the items that you're okay to substitute. Um, I've tried doing the substitutes before, and it was no because it's at it's at their discretion. And I guess you can still. Um, approve the substitution when you go pick up your groceries but i feel like the oh look at this toner that's so pretty where's mia at mia and i are big toner girls we love these toners putting that one aside let me grab my other quarter 
Um, yeah, so it, it just didn't out for me. I didn't appreciate what they tried to substitute my um, my original order with. So I just, I don't even, I don't do that. Go play, Mama. Thank you. Hi right, guys, looks like I have nine likes. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me for a little while. Like I said, I thought everyone was sleeping, so I didn't think. I've also been looking at these a little bit closer. These are the 2014s. So I have been checking them for the doubling on the window, leaky buckets, that good stuff. But uh, yeah, that webcam isn't that great. Sorry. I did see one of our friends that had an awesome webcam. I mean, it was almost like HD. And then like the closer he brought his coin up to the webcam, it was magnified. I need, I need to go back and look at that email because he did tell me what webcam he had. And if I find it, I'm going to buy it because when I have, when I go live stream like this, I can't use my scope and I'm just not, you know, tech savvy enough to know how to switch back and forth. And my husband is not available. So I was not able to use my, what is it called? Uh, what is it called? Oh yeah. The OBS. Yeah. I wasn't able to use my OBS. And normally I have my OBS set up where I have like my screen over here and then the rest of the screen is the scope. I love that thing. That is so cool. So are you done with your homework? Yes, ma'am. Good job, baby. I'm done with my homework. I got So, all right, these babies are coming out of the woodwork, guys. But give this video a big thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> That's my son. That's my baby Noah. Can I keep the it? Yeah, you can keep it in there. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. So as you can see, my babies are coming out of the woodwork. So this is a good time to cut. I have a few more rolls I'm going to go through. And um, I'll just make a, a video. And if I come across anything, I will... Um, I'll make a video and uh, show you my wrap up um, in another video. All right. Thank you for hanging out and I will see you guys on the next one. And don't forget to comment. That way it prompts me to watch your videos, give you some watch time. Give uh, me a huge, huge, huge thumbs up. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye. Like and subscribe. Bye-bye. <laughs> Y'all are funny. Mm -hmm.